Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Ease 4 Mask of the Sun. Last time we made it to Celsetta in the little town of Kaznan. So, yeah, we're at the inn, which we don't need to stay at. We're perfectly fine and we don't have any money anyway. Um, sure, what do you have? Okay, here we have an herb as well as an antidote. Like I said last time, there are enemies that poison you. It's really obnoxious. And the herb only heals 150 HP, which is still plenty, but it's not as much as herbs in previous games. And, uh, still can't afford it, so whatever. Huh. Okay. Hey there. Oh, well, that's just what your doctor friend just said. Wow, what's with everybody here, like, being a twin? Can't they change the sprites just a little bit? Also, their outfits? It's like green and orange. They look like jesters or something. I don't know. It's like, you know, half green, half orange, and then it kind of switches on the bottom. It's just strange. And yeah, we have more locked doors here. Oh, okay. So I guess Salsetta and um, the Roman Empire kind of jut up against each other. Oh. Oh. Huh. I wonder what's up with that. Hmm. Again, if I skip a door, it's because it's locked. Hey there. More than likely! Yeah! You know, evil empires and all that. That's just what they do. Hey there. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Well, the townsfolks are on to them. What? Seriously? You've got to be kidding. I'm already in jail? Wow. Huh. That was unexpected. Um, not really. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Most of Adol's adventures start with him hitting a patch of bad luck. But, you know, they all turn out well in the end. Oh. Um, sure, I guess. Whoa! I have so little money! Can't possibly afford that. Oh, well, great. Well, what's that? Oh, get to a huge forest. Really? Huh. People with wings? What is this, Breath of Fire? No. Really? A city of gold? Huh. Yeah, of course not. It's not like you would see a huge, enormous city of gold surrounded by a forest or anything like that. No, couldn't possibly see that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't imagine the treasure. You know, a bunch of gold. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Oh. Yeah, you're kind of useless. Oh, a secret exit. Huh. Well, let's go looking around for that. Mm, what is it? Did it? I didn't see anything move. Oh, hey, hey! A wall just moved! How convenient. Yeah. Worst prisons ever! What is he doing? <laughs> They're like spinning around. <laughs> it's like, hey, I escaped. Let's do some ballerina twirls. Like, really? I don't know. Let's kick their asses. Uh-oh. Yikes! You know, I love how Adol can go and, like, kill demons and gods, and then a year later he's back down to 20 HP and no gold and all that kind of mess. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this guy is General Leo, but in this game, he doesn't have a name, and he's actually really nice. Like, he's letting us go back to the inn, he's freeing us from jail and all that, we don't have to escape with Karna or anything. Oh, really? Seriously? Hey, yeah, you know, you've only been arrested for like two seconds, but if you want to rob my entire treasury, hey, go right ahead. Like, seriously? What kind of general are you? Okay, well, bye, thanks. 
Yeah, the NPCs were telling me all about that. Oh. That, that is what it seems like. I'll do my best. Really? I still have 20 HP. Oh, I guess so. I love how he's like, just you can just visit the fort's treasury tomorrow. It's not like, you can just rob them blind tomorrow, because that's really what's happening here. Oh, what's going on? Garuda? Already? Huh. Oh, yeah. They're basically telling you exactly what their um, objective is right here, right at the beginning of the game. Oh, and Garuda's a mage? Huh. I thought only Bami was the mage. I wonder where the other two are. Hmm. They were pretty much joined at the hip in the last game. Oh. Well, I guess he is a mage. He can teleport and all that. Huh. And it looks like General Leo, like, isn't really leading them like he was in the previous game either. It's more like he just kind of hired them. Oh. Uh, just look for a mine. It probably grows in there. That's where it grew in the first game, after, you know, after all. Okay, so let's get on out of here and head over towards the uh, fort. Hey there. Yeah, no kidding. It really is. Huh. Yeah, I gotta get some sort of equipment. I do have business with you! I'm here to rob you! Yeah, you know, don't arrest me for that. Arrest me just for wandering around and talking to people. That makes so much sense. Okay, so down here is just your, you know, the jail that you were at before. So, don't worry about it. Yeah, you're not gonna see any combat, and the one time that you, you know, the one chance that you had to see combat was whenever I was in jail, and you kinda blew it. So, yeah, you kinda suck. Uh oh. Yikes! And here we have our treasure! 500 gold and some herbs. Awesome. Don't have to waste money on that now. And what else do we have? The Rhoda Medicine, which we get like immediately in the game as well, even though we don't have any magic. But yeah, that works the same way as it did in Dawn of Ease. It um, restores all of your MP. Wow, these guards, like, they're so dumb. They're pretty much just telling everybody all their plans, and all the guards pretty much say the same thing, so I'm not going to talk to them. Hey there. Oh. Oh, really? Don't go meddling the affairs of this land! And by the way, here's, you know, gold and herbs and medicine so that you can meddle in the affairs of this land. Yeah. But then, he wishes us luck! He really is actually kind of a nice guy, I've got to say. But now that we have gold, we can go and buy some weapons and armor. Awesome. So let's just go and do that right here. I kind of miss, like, the huge portraits and everything of the previous game, but unfortunately, we don't have that. So here we can buy armor as well as a shield. Um, there's the first set that costs 100 gold, the second set that costs 700 gold, and for right now, you're going to want to buy the first set because that's all that we can afford, but very soon we will be buying the second set because this game involves copious amounts of grinding. So in order to buy all three um, sets of equipment, we're going to need 2,100 gold. So yeah, that's really what we are trying to grind up to at this point. Um, and I'm going to space out the grinding as much as humanly possible, and there's a pretty easy way to know when you have to grind. And in this game, it's pretty much whenever you see a new enemy, you have to grind. Um, the combat in this game is pretty unforgiving. Um, Basically, what I want to do is stand here and 
grind up to one level. If you see a monster, hey, guess what? You gotta grind up a level. That's basically how it works. One monster, one level. Okay, there we go. Kill them, and then just wait around and restore your HP. Each of these slimes gives you five experience points, so you only have to kill 20 of them, but you really do need to make sure that you are um, hurting them or hitting them at an angle or kind of, you know, not head on. Um, and you do restore HP relatively fast in this game, but you also can die pretty fast in this game as well because, again, it's not as forgiving as it was in the, um, in, in Dawn of Ease. In Dawn of Ease, you can kind of get away with hitting them head on, and it wasn't that big of a deal. But in this game, yeah, not so much. As you can see, I'm kind of getting slaughtered here. Okay, I only have three more ready to kill, so I'll just do the last three on screen, and then we can actually, you know, move on with life and get to the next enemy. There we go. Perfect! Okay, so moving right along, uh, we're just going to be heading up. Basically, if you see a path north, that's the path that you take. So let's see, going on through here, any new enemies? No, still those slimes. Here's the new enemy that I'm looking for, this little bug enemy, who gives you Looks like they want to say eight experience, and then we kill the slime who's down to give him two experience. So yeah, basically stand in this area, gain up another level. So that's what I'm gonna do real fast. Okay, I've made it my way up to level three. So let's just keep on going um, and keep on exploring. See what else there is to see around here. Huh, we've gotten really high up now. You can see the uh, the mountains and everything. Oh, that's. It's nice, it's pretty. Oh, yeah. All the way to the Pyrenees, I guess. Oh, nice little waterfall there. Very nice. Okay, so now, you know, previously we were going up, now we're going down. Every path that goes down is what you're gonna wanna take, and here we have another new enemy. And another new enemy means another level. So let me do that real fast. Okay, I got my level done. So, let's see, moving right on down. Each of these levels only takes maybe a minute, two minutes. There's not that much experience that you really need to gain, and the enemies do give you um, kind of graded experience. So, as you're going through, um, and, and you're gaining more levels, the enemies are, gain are giving you less and less experience. That's why you need to wait until a new monster comes in order to really uh, gain that next level, so it doesn't take you forever and a day to actually, you know, gain up those levels. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Oh, what's this? Oh. Uh-oh. Huh. I wonder if that lake that we saw in the mountains was Lake Salsetta. What's going on? Somebody in trouble? Oh no! It's a girl in trouble! Can't have that. Bam! Oh, yeah. She's not taking your crap. Heh <laughs> Whoa! Spinning star kick! Wow, is this Chun-Li or is this Karna? Huh. Reminds me of something else from Breath of Fire, actually. Uh, I was going to, but it looked like you didn't really need any help. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, yeah. Okay. Huh, villagers are disappearing. You don't say. Oh, yeah, Lemnos, huh. Uh, yeah, I did. Oh. Oh, huh. I guess she's talking about sages and all that, too. You're not gonna join us? Yeah, we don't get more party members in this game, unfortunately. So, yeah, here we have, uh, you know, the five sages and Lemnos and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, kind of neat, kind of cool. So let's just go on this way. And yeah, we've now entered the Great Forest of Celsetta, where there is not just one new enemy, but two new enemies. And you know what that means? We gotta gain two levels. And at this point, what I'm gonna be doing 
is gaining those two levels off screen as well as gaining up 2,100 gold in order to purchase all the uh, new equipment back at Kaznon. And then next time on Let's Play Ease 4 Mask of the Sun, we're going to move on through this forest and head off to Wind Village. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.